Welcome to the world premiere of the new 9-11 Sport Classic. My name is Boris Appenbrink and I am here together with Brent Larsen, who is our lead designer for all exclusive Manufaktur vehicles. He will be talking about the design of the car in a second. But first, let's look back a bit to the heritage design strategy, where they came from. First car was the 911 Speedster with a heritage design package. This was to test out the reaction of the customers and, of course, the Porsche fans. The reaction was quite positive, so we decided to launch the 911 Targa 4S Heritage Design Edition two years ago. And this car was all about the 50s of the Porsche history. It celebrated cherry red metallic and corduroy seat centers, green instrument dials and golden logos on the car. So after the 50s, there are the 60s, 70s and 80s. And the strategy is all about launching one car per era. So now, let's see what the 60s and early 70s are about. Let's look at the new 911 Sport Classic brand. So let's talk a little bit about the back of the car. One of the elements that we took over from the past was our famous duck tail. This was first introduced in 2009 on our 997 Sport Classic. This is a new interpretation of it for the 992 Sport Classic. One element that we're quite proud of is the width of the car and the sculptural beauty of the rear fender. Because the car is based on the 992 Turbo, we were able to keep the width of the turbo, but without the air intake. And this gives us a nice, really clean, beautiful sculpture. An additional element is the depression in the roof, which comes from motorsport, and which is further emphasized by the painted tone-on-tone -tone stripes. A very important element of any car are the wheels. This time we have a new interpretation of our classic Fuchs wheel, but this time not only in 21 inch, but also as a central lock. So let's talk a little bit about the details. What makes this car even more exclusive is the integration of our classic Porsche badge. Everywhere where there's a badge on the car it is the version from the 1963 Heritage Badge. We talked a lot about the exterior, but the interior has also many highlights. The interior is outfitted in a two-tone leather, black and semi-aniline cognac, highlighted the seat centers in Papita, as well as the door panels. A first for this car. On the right side of the dashboard, we've positioned a limitation badge, which indicates the limitation number, which is 1,250, which are also individually numbered. Thank you very much, Grant, for this impressive design talk. And to you, I mean, these cars are built for emotion. These cars are built for the lifestyle of our customers and to create goosebumps. Now we talked a lot about the design, but also from a technical perspective, this car is very interesting. It's as analog as it can get in 2022. You have manual transmission only with rear wheel drive and the big turbo engine. 550 horsepower are enough performance to do whatever you want with the car. But it's not a racer. It's a car for connoisseurs, it's for the curvy ocean side road and to enjoy driving. So next, I would invite you to drive the car. So please enjoy as soon as you can hit the road with a new 911 Sport Classic.